Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. It is the next part in my TTL Logic Series 74 LS series. We're looking at the 74 LS04, and it is an inverter chip. Inverter chip, and there's six of them on there, so it's a hex inverter because it's times six inverters. And an inverter is this, is a symbol for an inverter. The truth table is A and out. So if A is a one, out is a zero. And if A is a zero, one is an out. It's a very simple thing. You can't build a whole bunch of different things with it, but you can, you can use it to invert signals clock signals and different things like that I have um, we'll take a look at the data sheet here's the data sheet here here's the pinout it's 14 pin package you have your power up here so in our case this would be plus 5 volts ground down here and then we have our inputs there's a set of inputs in and out in and out in and out. Oops, in and out. If I can undo some of that. Erase. There we go. And then these are your inputs together. So those in packages are in are what are connected and then we have our truth table, you know, it's normal. Showed that to you there and then let's go this way with it and then it shows the four inverters how they're connected and then it actually shows how the circuit is drawn this right here is the LS04 and as you can see it has the diodes in it and all that good stuff the different um, NPN transistors so that is how this works and if you look at the different technologies this is just the 7404 this is how it was originally designed and um, with time it improved to a more complex but more efficient uses less current but it also um, if there's nothing connected to the input it pulls it high so you need to pull it low Let's take a look at this over here. I can get off of the screen. Okay, let's take a look at this monitor. This is the inverter here. The it's on. If I turn it, if I apply power, it turns the LED off. If I open the circuit, the LED turns on. That's your simple inverter. And This works. I might have to cut the camera. We'll see. Will the overhead work? Yes, the overhead works. I got a different breadboard here. I'm testing out. It's from Inco Precision. So far, not a fan. The spacing is weird on here. Um, I do like how the power hooks up. And I'm using a um, power adapter that plugs in nicer. And I put 12 volts in and it gives me 5 volts out more regulated so I don't have to worry about it um, on this circuit I have the chip I have uh, pin 14 tied to uh, VCC or 5 volts I have pin 7 tied to ground I have pin 2 which is my output tied to a resistor that goes to a blue LED it goes to the negative now this is what threw me for a loop was this button circuit because a floating pin in one of these chips is considered a high so if an inputs floating it's set as a high so if you want it to be a low and then you apply a high you have to use a pull down resistor and that's what this is right here I'm using this as a pull down resistor and then it goes through 
this LED goes from positive to this resistor into the switch so when I push the switch the LED will light up and then it will also send a high signal to the inverter which I will turn on the power supply turn on that power supply and as you can see right now we are pulling down this input to a low so the light is on and if I push the button to light this light the light goes off the signal has been inverted so just to, just to show you if I unhook this input it floats it pulls it high so in order to make this circuit work you need to tie you need to actually use pull down resistors to pull the, pull the inputs low if you're going to be using them on a switch so keep that in mind on this LS series chips the inputs are pulled high on a lot of them so that's good to keep in mind but that's it for this video it was a short one you visit me on these social media links you can also support me on patreon if you so choose thank you so much and have a fantastic day